for West London Giants Chelsea, it's been a season of turmoil and turbulence, and thus far, under achievement. David Murphy for Birmingham City, and Chelsea's woes have just increased. Doesn't cut an easy figure, does he? Only a Daniel Sturridge goal secured the Blues a fifth round replay against Birmingham, but another poor performance contributed to the downfall of Beliga boss Andre Villas-Boas after only eight months. To save their season, Chelsea have turned to a man with a special affinity for the club and the FA Cup. And a goal! Oh, fantastic start! Roberto Di Matteo! It was a very good feeling, but... Uh... It's not about the goal for me, it was about the, the, the effect that winning the final had for the team and for the club. The Italian was an integral part of the successful side that lifted the trophy in 1997 and 2000, scoring in both finals. A decade later, Roberto Di Matteo is back in the Chelsea spotlight, facing what he calls the biggest challenge of his career. We have obviously a legacy, I have a legacy with this club and uh, I spent some many, many years, some incredible years of my professional life with this club. Di Matteo wasn't the only man on the score sheet in the 1997 final against Middlesbrough. Eddie Newson got Chelsea's second goal and now finds himself alongside his former teammate in the dugout. Being back at Chelsea and uh, having that feeling again, you know, I've, I've lived it as a, as a player now, as a first team coach, I've been an academy coach and now. Uh, you know, assistant manager at the club. The duo's first task was to negotiate a tricky replay at Birmingham. A perfect start to life at the helm came with a 2-0 win at St Andrews. We all wanted to go through in the cup and to the next round. And I think it was a good performance, good solid performance, a uh, good team performance. And I think there was an important message. The way the boys were after the game with the crowd, you could see the, the boys had been through the pillar. So. It meant an awful lot to get a win, to you know, get that winning feeling back in the dressing room and, uh, and start focusing towards positive results in the future. In the quarterfinals, Chelsea now faced the club who took them to a replay en route to that 97 success, Leicester City. Then we got brought back to the bridge. We couldn't break them down. They were resolute in defence, but then Erlen went on one of those mad runs and went down the middle. We got a penalty and we scored from the, the penalty. I'm not sure Leicester weren't too happy about it, but we got the penalty, got through. Middlesbrough's losing captain back in 97, Nigel Pearson, is now the Leicester manager. While Chelsea pray that Fernando Torres can rediscover his goal-scoring spirit, Pearson has a striker revelling in the cup. Cam can't get there, Beckford can, and that's 2-0. With 14 goals in 17 FA Cup ties, Jermaine Beckford, a former Chelsea trainee, aims to haunt his old club. And there is Beckford to score, Leicester in dreamland. Leicester will provide tough opposition, but for Di Matteo, who became so familiar with the old Wembley, a first trip to the new home of football is within touching distance. You know that it's a, it's a big game because they, you know, they show it all over all over the world. Robbie and myself have got a legacy here. You know, we you know we've made little bits of history. You have to get through. You know, whatever it takes. We want to be part of the success again. You know, we've got a massive opportunity, and we're, we're taking it and embracing it with both hands. And you know, we're going to work hard to to get there and work with the boys and do everything within our power to help them succeed.